Hi, it's Miss Suzette, and today we're reading Sole, and this is by Lupita Nyong'o. Sole was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba the color of dusk, and Mish, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Solway either. People gave her sister Mish pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Solway names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Solway felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Solway dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Sulwe decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest, brightest foods. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, may I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. When Mama came in to wake her up for school the next morning, Sulway rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Sulway told Mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Sulway, she muttered, and what does it mean? Star, Sulway whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulway's stomach the way she always did to comfort her, you are beautiful. Sulway sighed. Well, you're beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my sweet. Real beauty comes from, when you're, from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now up you get and out you go. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Solway's window. The night sent me, the star said, come with me. Solway hopped onto the star and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day and they were sisters. Let me see, right there. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. Lovely, nice, pretty. People gave day pet names like that. People gave night names like scary and bad and ugly, and she felt hurt every time. Well, not, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everyone happy in the sun. But then day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister, and so did everybody else. You think you'd like it if it was daytime all the time? There had to be a way to get her back. So Day set off to find night, and she did. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said Night, but don't you know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark? You're right, I don't, Day replied, but what I do know is that, would you, that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. 
We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars charmed brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors. And sunlight can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are the most beautiful. It's when you are the most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little? Not even at all? Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, you need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night and every shade in between. Together they make the world we know light and dark, strong and beautiful. Silway rose the next morning, beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Silway felt beautiful inside and out. And that's the end of this one.